My soul is full of longings for the secrets of the sea, and the heart of the great ocean sends a thrilling pulse through me. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Daniel Key ready for some more beautiful exhumed adventures at the Black Point Sediment on Great Ghana Key. Southern Boating describes the area this way. Great Ghana Key is centrally located in the Exuma Island chain just south of the busy hub at Staniel Key. But it's a world apart from Staniel in character and represents a true slice of life in the out islands. The small town at Black Point Settlement sits on a wide bight facing west over the vast banks stretching to the tongue of the ocean. The residents of Black Point are among the friendliest you'll encounter and the community is heavily geared towards serving the needs of visiting cruisers. Our first adventure ashore was from the government docks which gave us a great view of journey from the shore. We checked out the signs and began walking passing the school and the library. Of course, the educator and me had to check both of these out. We had decided to stop at the Emerald Sunset View for our first beer. We met the owner, Pappy, and had a beer with an awesome view. But Dee was most impressed by his view while using the restroom. So this is your view when you take a leap. Enjoy. Next up was our visit to the Blowhole, which is a short walk from the Anchorage. Again, Southern Boating website provides great directions and description of this short adventure from the Anchorage. A short 15 minute walk northeast from the government dock will take you to a beautiful ocean beach across the island. Turn left at the dock, then right on the dirt and gravel road that leads across the island. At the top of the hill, on the left is a natural blowhole. Big swells that run on Exuma Sound vent spectacularly through the hole. A little further up the road, you'll drop down onto the beach. It's a nice spot to catch some sun or do a little beach combing. Now it's time for Allie's big adventure. We set out on what I believe to be a short hike to the White Horse Cliffs. Up the hill around the anchorage, we took some great shots of journey. My adventure, though, led to trails that ended, cliffs to traverse both up and down, across water in which we were thankful for low tide to reach the top of the cliffs near the Dotham Cut. The view was spectacular.
Observing from the cliffs, we found what we believed and was a quicker way back to the anchorage by way of a road. But we still had to wade through knee-deep water, and my entire adventure took five hours. Oops. But we did discover two beautiful blue holes, but we never made it back because the train was just too rugged for a do-over. Another special thing about Black Point were the sea turtles that fed on the grassy bottom in the anchorage. They never seemed to stay around when I went snorkeling off the boat, but enjoyed having their picture taken while we viewed them from the boat. When we took Shelby in, we usually spotted more visitors in the water, like this stingray and nurse shark stalking the docks for food. And the sunsets were spectacular as we had a perfect view to the west each evening. Our final adventure is to explore the southern part of the Black Point on Great Ghana Key. We believed we could make a circle, but for sure wanted to see the White Castle along the southern shores of Black Point and visible from the waters known as Little Bay. We set off down the paved road, past the turn for the airport, and through a neighborhood almost to the other side of the key. As we were walking along, a pickup truck stopped and asked where we were headed. His bed was full, but he said, hop in and I'll take you part of the way. We learned that there was a wedding on the sands of Little Bay, and he was carrying table and chairs out to the beach. Also, a yacht was anchored in Little Bay. He dropped us at a crossroads, and we were off to the castle. After viewing the castle, which had signs posted not to trespass, we later learned the bartender at Scorpios lived there. Scorpios hosts a cruiser hour three times a week, and he mixed a mean rum punch. We laughed about me being a trespasser earlier on his property. I didn't read anywhere not to venture out to the castle, so I'm now telling others who want to see this that they prefer you not visit the castle. Our suggestion is take your dinghy around the island on a windless day and see her from the water. As we followed the trail, we felt we could still make that circle, but we ventured down another trail and found a quiet beach area to swim and explore. Saving the starfish. Well, maybe saving the starfish. We're not sure why they were out of the water on the sand. Then finding another trail, we did make it back to Emerald Sunset View for our stop and some much needed tapping. Absolute best part of Black Point was meeting Mama. She, we were told to buy her coconut bread, and after the first loaf, we just wanted more. It was the best we had in the Bahamas by far. She was a super friendly lady who invited us into her home, showed us her kitchen and her bread pans. This is a must stop. If you get anywhere near Black Point, buy the bread. The sun is setting on our Black Point adventure, and we are sad to leave. But it is time to swim with the mermaids.